peaceful though, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? We've about five minutes, then that mystery's on. <laughs> Morning, guys. Again. Come back. John, the me and Lewis here today. Yeah. Her apprentice is at college on a Wednesday. And her labour is ducked again with a sore foot this morning. <laughs> <laughs> We'll have to see how we get off. We should get this one wrapped off today, us two. There's not a lot really. We need to get this banking. We need to get all this banking dug out. It's too high for us to get any stone around it there. We're too tight up against it to get in it. Not nice to be in there. We don't struggle then. We could build it over on, but we should just get it ripped out. We need to get to this back here because we've got to sink these pipes down so they're level with the trench block and we've got a 300 mil pipe roughly so we need to cut a chunk out of the trench just to sink them in we might as well rip it out for us this morning we'll crack on with these internals see how we get along it's going to be a nice and warm day for us today so just steady away Hopefully a trench block come in then later on. We've got a few trench blocks to start with on next door though. There should be a few left over in here. It's a job for tomorrow anyway. But if you wanna travel, then go alone Yeah, what's the point in us if I never know? Yeah, if you're gonna leave, I'ma let you go away. I'm tired of the Get a brew. Managed to get all that gable in. All the pipes round. They've been a bit awkward these pipes. You've got to chip out to get them in. We haven't been able to take out banking out at the moment. We've got down to a level where we can build it. We've had a bit of a struggle getting these in. A couple of internal walls here. Lewis can buy me a bossy now. Oh. And we'll get back into it. We're out of big lentils unless they turn up today, so we can only really do this internal and then this one here and then we need bigger lentils to get over all these pipes again.
so I don't know if this is going to see this or not, I mean I can but Yeah, and some common. What you want to be looking for when you lay these stones is this top iris here. And to get it as close to the line as you can. Every now and again you get one with a bit of a lump that sticks out. What I normally do is sink that lump slightly under the line, just so your line pings back into place. And it's not kicking out everywhere. That way your line stays true. This one's got one on, I'll show you now, look. You know, to like this corner, I just think that a little slightly below your line. Pretty much all you can do with these stones. And just make sure the smalls tend to sink every now and again. Probably because there's not as much area underneath them. And they seem to be cut thinner than all these other ones. Want to be looking for on your bond here uh, is a minimum of four inch bond. On to the next one. Let's see, we've got a good five inch there. Basically, all there is to it. Let's see this lump on this stone here. Just get it just below your iris. And get your iris just below the line. Just about got a four inch bond. Stick a small in there. That's that course head. Ends up onto the next one now. Not nice and straight. Four inch bond. How we do it. Well, it's quite a past two. We've run out of big lintels. Time for us to go home, I think. I'll show you where we've got up to. All this stone around this plot now. It's all finished. Most of the middle walls are in. I'm missing this run across back here. So we've got we've got 450 lintels but no 600s. 450s haven't got enough coverage over these pipes. Once you get that section in it morning, a little bit there, fit in that corner. Hopefully an engineer comes out and pins an apartment block next door with two of them to go at. A couple of garages. Plenty of work for us to go out and have on here. 
we get stuck with other sites we can go to as well. Peace out, Lewis. Time to go home. See you all in the next one.